Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kina bradado sakata la bashata. Elebrete di sukata la banta la dia la koshikati. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, amen. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this prophetic word says, News about you is flying. Your news is flying. Right? Everyone knows. You know, um, this is in particular is a very good prophetic word by the special grace of God. Now, um, why do I say it's a good prophetic word? Because this prophetic word has to do with the past, it has to do with the present, and it also has to do with the future. Now, um, one thing you must understand is every word from God to us is always good. Whatever God is saying is either is something he's preparing for us or he's preparing something great ahead of us or he's making us better people. And I have learned that the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. So I have learned that everything that begins to happen, it will always happen for our good. It will always happen in line with the will of God for us. Sometimes you might just be staying and being a normal person, but you don't know that God is doing something great. You don't know that God is doing something amazing in your life. You have no idea. You have no idea. Most of the times, I'm telling you the gospel truth. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You have no idea most of the times. Sometimes we feel like God has abandoned us. Sometimes we feel like God doesn't even have our time. But honey, trust me when I tell you that most of the times God is working out a lot on our good, for our good and on our behalf. Now, there is somebody that God is beginning to bloom your light. Your light was seemingly looking dim before because you did not want to act. You had to go through a lot about life, so much betrayal and so much attacks in your life that you felt like you should just wait and then take out time to do some things about your life. Now, in the course of all this, some people thought that you were failing already. Because of the betrayal, you felt so sad, you felt so down and all that. So you decided to take out your time because it became so difficult to trust. So because of that, some people thought that you had already failed. Some people thought that there was no way you could rise up again. Some people who you were more than even started thinking that they have become more than you. It is never wrong for you to feel like you're becoming more than somebody. But it is okay for you to look at it in the positive direction. I tell somebody, you are more than this particular person. Me, I tell somebody like that. But I tell them the honest truth. I tell them what I know. I tell them what I see. You understand? And a lot of people have told me, you are also more than another person. They tell me based on their own observation. But what I'm saying is, if I begin to say I'm more than this person, I'm more than this person, sometimes envy creeps in, sometimes jealousy creeps in. You're no better than any person and no person is better than you because your competition is not with somebody else. Your competition is with yourself. How? Your competition is making yourself better. When you start competing with people, you might do what is not correct. You might do a lot of wrong things. You might want to do things that will not be good. And you might find yourself in so much pressure, under so much pressure and in so many problems. There is a time for everything. I tell you the gospel truth. There is a time for everything. There is a time when you get into a particular level and you do the things in that particular level so easy. For example, there is business class on the plane and there is economic class. 
the price difference between economy and business is too vast. It's too, like, it's really, the difference is really there. And guess what? It has always been my dream to get into a business class. Always, always. But the honest truth is, when I think about that amount of money, it's too, the difference is clear. I tell myself, okay, the next time, probably the price must have dropped down. I'll be able to get it because I have a lot of project. And right now, I cannot just use this money for this, you know. But that has been my dream. Now, the only way I can get into that business class is in two ways. Number one, if I cover my eye and cry and say, ah, I'm going to use this to enter. Or number two, somebody decides to say, oh, pastor, I'm paying a business class for any trip that you want to go to. Or I'm paying a business class for this trip for you. Or I'm giving you part of the money. You can add the part of half of the money to pay for your business class. That is the only two reasons I can enter. You know why? Because every time I think about it, hi, it's, it's like my heart to come out. The price difference is really fast. Now, but when you get to that stage of the business class, you want to always take it. Why? First time is difficult. Second time seems somehow. Third time, fourth time, you notice that becomes your lifestyle. So you cannot compare with somebody who is already there. It will kill you. Somebody, you said to yourself, you were just going to be patient because of the attacks and the betrayal. Now God is beginning to uplift you. And a lot of people are talking about you. So many people talking about you. So many people looking at you and admiring you. The irony about this is that you don't even know the extent that your news have gone. You don't even know the extent that people know about you. You know, somebody sent me a message and the person was talking to me. I heard about your story from this particular person. It was a big person talking about it. How did the big person even hear about my news? I was so shocked. When you start making wave, you don't need to do anything. The people who matters will hear about you. And guess what? The more people talk about you, the more you go. I'm telling you, people who have learned social media or learn the act of talking or learn the act of news they will they will understand this better you can have a negative rumor oh i had a positive one okay you can have a negative rumor but sometimes it makes the people more popular instead you can have a positive rumor it makes the people more popular and most of the times it's even the negative one that makes people more popular your news is spreading this is the time of your blessing this is the time of your announcement your name people are beginning to talk about you in places that you don't even know you're ignorant you will soon find out you will see that god has restored you what you lost is restoring the betrayer is restoring what you lost is restoring you in every atmosphere if this is confirmation to you and reason and resonating with your spirit type it on the comment section connect yourself make that confession say god is restoring me in every area of my life say it again god is restoring me in every area of my life for the last time god is restoring me in every area of my life in jesus mighty name Amen. Please don't forget to pray for me, like, and subscribe. God bless you. Welcome to the family now. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.